quick, quick reintroduction of how we're doing this. Um, we're going to break down this video because it seems to be that like every time uh, a black person doesn't get justice, someone from the right has to come around and say, well, actually, they don't deserve justice because X, Y, Z, which we're going to see how it's relevant, but um, I'm not going into this bias free. Uh, two things I want to note is the I don't have any special tools for my fact checking. There's nothing on my sleeves, nothing on my sleeves. I got some guns, but I won't say that too loud because I'm not sure if cops are outside. So the two tools that we'll be mostly using for fact checking is, oh shit, this is way too loud, is uh, Google and DuckDuckGo. We'll use Google just because it's there and everyone has access to it. And it's probably, a, I could probably show people how I use Google, uh, see if that helps. And we'll use DuckDuckGo because one of the downsides of Google, other than like people allege that it has a left-leaning uh, bias, um, it does send you back to sites you frequently busy, visit, if you, especially if you use Chrome or any other Google product. So essentially you end up creating an echo chamber for yourself, which I can't condone in any way, shape, or form. So it's a good idea, especially on some controversial events, to just search outside of Google for some answers. So it'll be Google and DuckDuckGo. In fact, let me type those into the browser now. Why do I keep doing that? Let me type that shit into my browser now. And duck a ducky go because again he's gonna go do a lot of shit really fast i this this crowd i love them they are facts don't care about your feeling but let's see how how much he sticks to facts um so again thank you again wario uh i am going to start this video over i feel like a fucking idiot uh i need a drink <laughs> but back on topic the truth about Breonna taylor featuring the one and only Charlie Kirk, co-founder of Turning Point USA. They are relative to the U.S. a conservative. And I had, I still, I need to research this more. Actually, I don't because I don't really know more about them. But they're a conservative filter or an aggregator. I don't know exactly what they do. Um, I think the closest thing they do that I can relate to is, is they're just propagandists. Same with uh, TYT. It's just like, you know, if you like hearing your own opinions echoed, go to them. Alapicha, but uh, let us get started. Hey everybody, I have no patience for the lies that are being told about this Brianna Taylor incident in Louisville. So he is out of patience due to the lies that are being told about Brianna Taylor. Um, I'm sure he will inform us what those lies are, but it's important, especially with people who like to go over topics really quickly, that you slow them down and be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Can you can you go back? Which lies in particular? So I'll give him the benefit of doubt. He's probably going to do that. But again, I only got two minutes into this video, and I can't even remember what he said. I saw the video when I woke up. So yeah, I think I can't recall. But uh, let's get into these lies. Louisville. There now are anarchists. Be See, I gotta stop that there. Anarchists got a bad rap. They're actually pretty dope people. You just gotta talk to them every once in a while. So. Uh, anarchists, pretty dope. Um, pretty dope group of people. They, as the as the name suggests, they don't believe in government. They don't believe uh, in government for whatever reason. I don't. I can't imagine why. Uh, but I think again, I think what we often do when we hear a word is we don't do the due diligence to figure out what that word is. We just say, oh, I heard this word. I'm going to attach my interpretation of it is regardless of whether or not, you know, the definitions have or usage has been updated. A lot of people think uh, words don't change. I don't understand that. Um, words definitely change, at least in usage. Maybe former definitions are still there, but do, new definitions can be added all the time. I mean, think about the word cool. We use that shit for everything. So tis what tis. I won't spend too much time on this. Just just helping you figure out how I think it's crazy up, up in here. Uh, moving on. BLM Incorporated and Democrats. He, he's moving too fucking fast. So, Anarchist, BLM Incorporated, Democrats. Let's break each of these down one by one. BLM Incorporated, I appreciate it that he said BLM Incorporated and not just BLM. Because a lot of people will say, oh, I don't like Black Lives Matter. They're Marxists. And it that always triggers me because it's just like, well, A, can you explain what a Marxist is and why it's bad? And B, um, I'm pretty sure the organization Black Lives Matter said that, but the movement 
it's still going to happen regardless of what the organization is thinking or not. So they like to use the, the organization to discredit the Black Lives Matter movement. They also like to use whataboutism, but that's not what this video is about today. Um, to discredit the movement when uh, all the movement is focused on is putting an end to police brutality predominantly in black communities. Um, everyone, I would think, should want to see an end to police brutality. I get that, like, some people deserve to get their ass whooped. Absolutely. <laughs> but um, a lot of people don't. Like, even just today, I was on Reddit, and I'm not even... Look, if I wanted to look for police brutality videos, I'd probably be way more radicalized. But they just, I just come across this shit. And this dude was on the ground. I don't know if he was injured or not. Title said he was injured, so I'm just going to have to go with that. Um, but dude was on the ground, and a police officer on his bicycle rode over his head. And when the crowd was like, yo, what the F, the cops pro pr protected the officer. Like, how are, I don't know. I don't know how we're supposed to keep looking at them like, like they're above criticism when it's like, no, y'all, sometimes some of y'all are bullies. So again, it's, it's such a weird, weird, weird duality of thinking like, oh, there's a few bad eggs in Black Lives Matter. So Black Lives Matter is invalid. But then the, the few bad apples in the cops is okay. By the way, the, the whole phrase is few bad apples spoil the bunch. I don't know why people forget that second part, the whole spoil the bunch thing, but eh, tis what tis. Moving on. Democrats that are marching. Fuck Democrats. I'm not a fan of them. Um, but saying anarchist, BLM, and Democrats and just like putting them all in one box, kind of scary. Don't do that. You're, you're removing nuance from the conversation again if this is how you're feeling this is how you're feeling it's valid it's okay to have these feelings but you know you're you're part of the facts don't care about your feelings crowd so i'm, I'm coming to you expecting tra facts especially when your t video is titled the truth let me let me do the bernie sanders the truth about brianna taylor so they're not even remotely the same democrats and anarchists <laughs> Democrats and anarchists couldn't be any further apart from each other. Maybe Democrats are... And the, anarchy is a weird thing to spectrumize because it covers a lot. Yeah, Democrats and, Demo and anarchists are pretty far apart. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And the, the sad part about this, going through this video, in the back of my mind, I honestly don't know if this man is expressing his true thoughts and feelings or if he's just trying to get people radicalized riled up voting doing what he would like for his agenda to do but again i'm trying to be generous with this interpretation having assaulted the man just taking this sentence by sentence so next sentence in the streets trying to advocate for justice for brianna taylor senator harris that's, that's so awful how dare they Harris, who will never become vice president of the United so this is definitely a feelings video at that point um not, he didn't have to add that, but, you know, part of his agenda. Harris will never become the vice president. We know that because feelings? I'm not sure what f facts he has to back that up. Also not sure exact. Well, he's going to make it relevant. Uh, I do remember this much. Um, but, yeah. Definitely, definitely showing his hand there. United States says her family deserves justice. Is that wrong? Is okay, so uh, god damn it, god damn it. So, generous interpretation of what she said is like, Yo, I'm an American, my family's clearly suffering, we gotta do something about this. Dishonest interpretation, or not dishonest, not generous interpretation is Kamala Harris is saying, Hey, my black family deserves justice. Um Personally, I don't have a problem with either of those takes. Um, if you got a problem with people associating race, I, I'd say get rid of the concept of race, but that's that's a wild, wild idea. So we will continue to categorize people by their melanin and bone structure. Regardless of how diluted said things are. Like, I'm, I'm black, I guess, but... If you do a DNA test, I'm kind of all over the fucking place, and I think most of us are, so I don't I don't get race anymore. I'm down for ethnicity, but I don't get race. 
Okay, I guess in a literal sense, if you want to take Kamala Harris, literally, like, members of her immediate family deserve justice, then nah, nah. But here's the thing about politicians. Unfortunately, in Nietzsche, um, uh, some f German f philosopher, I think, or psychiatrist, I can't remember his occupation, but he had said something that I just, I take with me all the time, and it makes me less angry at the world, because it's really fucking easy to get angry at the world. It, it, it can be, yeah, but it's, you know, Nietzsche, there you go. He was like, uh, the masses don't desire, uh, what's the word? Philosophy, they desire religion, and that helps. That helps, because it's absolutely true. The masses do not care about, like, logical consistency. They're just like, oh shit, he said words, I felt this way, I'm gonna go vote for that dude. So if you're trying to win an election on a logical platform, unfortunately, in the United States, you cannot do that. It's, I'm sorry, I wish, I wish there was another way, but you really have to appeal to people's emotions if you want to get anywhere here. So that's what Kamala was doing, and that's what he's doing. So he's mad because she's appealing to emotions in an opposite direction that he's appealing to emotions. And that's just my takeaway. Well, let's actually go over the facts of the case. Let's. So as background, there is an individual uh, that was by the name of Jamarcus Glover. Mm -hmm. uh, this was Brianna Taylor's ex-boyfriend. She was, yeah, ex-boyfriend. Um, he was in custody, if I recall, at the time. You know what? Actually, this is why we bought up the other two tabs, so we can. Let's see. She was Brianna's ex-Taylor. She was knee-deep in crime. Knee deep in crime with Jamarcus Glover. Pause. Okay, fuck Jamarcus Glover. Let us go to DuckDuckGo and see Brianna Taylor's uh criminal record. Let's see if uh, anything comes up because he, she was knee deep in crime. And if you're going to say that, you have to have evidence to back that up. He doesn't provide any, so we're going to have to do our own uh, hunting. Uh, Brianna Taylor criminal records. So it says here. Let's see. Metro Police argues in a new court filing seeking to block the release of records in the Brianna Taylor case. So I guess she does have a record, but does it have to do with this case? And it, how do, pause, pause, how you gonna leave me, hold up, did you just link me back to your own article? What the shit? It's the same article, okay, whatever. <laughs> God, I just want a quick version of this. So she was deep, knee deep. I'm gonna get to that later because you're already you you know where I'm going with this. Like it's a weird um I don't even know if there's a technical name for it, but it's just like, well, he lied to his teacher when he was in sixth grade. That officer should have definitely shot him. Like what the fuck? Um, isn't that why we have this whole rehabilitation system? Not to not rehabilitation. Oh my god. What do you do? What what do you do in prison? You get uh punished and you also get reformed or something. But like, it's so weird to hear the right do this because in my head, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm out of date. But the right is the Christian side, right? They're usually Christian, and I thought Christ was all about that forgiveness shit. But I guess not. But again, I'm not sure. I'm not finding um Brianna Taylor's criminal records here. Uh, yeah, I'm not even sure she had a rap sheet. Oh, 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 no, 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 same, same thing. Let's see. Oh my god, these people did the fact checking for us. Good to know. So she was, I think I read this article earlier. She was a suspect, but the person that they were looking for wasn't there. On the warrant, um, her home was listed, be but uh, no drugs were found in the area at all. So... Bad suspicion, uh, bad evidence. There's really nothing to back up the claim that, uh... In fact, to use Brianna Taylor's address... Uh, hold she on. Was knee deep in crime. She, he's saying she was knee deep in crime. He's trying to make it seem like she knew what was going on. It could, we could argue plausible deniability, but let's not. Let's say Brianna uh, absolutely knew what was going on. Did she deserve to be shot? 
because her boyfriend was selling drugs out of her apartment. Did she deserve to be executed? Did she deserve to not have due process because her ex-boyfriend was selling drugs out of her apartment? Uh, I forget how old was Brianna. I think she was 26, man. I, I'm not going to think about it right now. This was Brianna's ex. So yeah, he was a criminal. He was absolutely a criminal and he was in custody. With Jamarcus Glover. In fact, he used Brianna Taylor's address uh, for deliveries. True. He was arrested in a no-knock warrant. Fuck no-knock warrants. Uh, Brianna Taylor was in business with her ex-boyfriend, Jamarcus Glover. So there was another warrant that was issued, a no-knock warrant. <sighs> he fucking... He was in business, but he doesn't provide, like, where can I, this is my problem, like, this is, you have a lot of time to, like, point me in a direction, uh, where can I go to find out that Jamarcus was still in business with her ex-boyfriend, like, I don't, you're saying these things, but I have nothing to back it up with, and when I, I try to look it up myself, it's just, it's not, I'm not getting the results that you're seeing, man, it's hurting me, um, cause let's see, like, it doesn't make a huge difference, but again, like he said, he was arrested. They went to go check his her place because they still had suspicion. Um, also, I think we're also forgetting that the judge signed off on this, but no-knock warrants, oh, they're, they're a fucking issue, man. They need to stop it, in my opinion. To go arrest Brianna Taylor, had her name on it. So they go to her residence and they- Yeah, that much I, have, I learned this morning is true. They went there to arrest her in a no-knock warrant. Not sure why they felt a no-knock warrant was valid, especially since they know, like, I don't know. I feel like if you know enough about a person to get a no-knock warrant, you probably would know enough uh, about the person to know where they work, uh, to know, you know, where you can find them outside the premise of their home. Because if you come up in someone's home knocking and knocking down doors, bruh, no knock warrants in the second amendment i don't understand how they coexist like they fucking can't the castle doctrines cannot coexist with no knock warrants castle doctrines for those of you who don't know basically mean your home is your castle and if anybody steps foot on their wrong bam uh two-way supporters stand by this shit which is also irking me that the nra has been weirdly silent on this issue but nra they're not actually second amendment supporters but that's a different video they knock. They knock. They, okay. They knocked even though it was a no-knock raid. So they go into... So the events surrounding that, and we'll never know because the cop who did bring their body cam, they just didn't have it on. They forgot, I guess. Uh, but the cop who brought their body cam, they just didn't record this. But different accounts are saying different things. Um, one account is saying that the police identified themselves. Uh, Eleven accounts are saying that... They didn't hear any identification, even after Walker, uh, Brianna's boyfriend, had asked, who is that? And knocking kept happening. Uh, and I guess the, the argument is like, well, shouldn't he have waited till the people busted down his door to start shooting? Yeah, go try that out. Do that. <laughs> to her home, because there was no answer after they knocked, and the police were shot at by her new boyfriend, criminal, thug. I feel like thug is kind of like a new a new word for black people. It's weird. And it, unfortunately, um, I'm always going to, I'm biased against um, hip hop from 2000 to 2010. I blame that genre for that. Because during that, during that decade, all the music that was coming out, you had Ja Rule, you had 50 Cent. You even had fucking R. Kelly and R&B artists calling themselves thugs. Like, why the, as a kid, I was dumb as fuck. But as a kid, even then, I was just like, why y'all doing this? And now it's getting turned on us. And like, this shit feels fucking awful. But um, her new boyfriend, Criminal Thug, again, let's go back to Duck, Duck, Go. Because in order to be a criminal or a thug, you need to have a criminal record, right? Am I tripping here? So let's see. Nobody can... Let's see. Wiki, age, criminal history. Oh, there we go. By the way, he's not a criminal. He was arrested, then released. Is he still a criminal? Like, how does the fuck does that work? If, if you got handcuffs on you, you're a criminal for life. His word usage is very, again, showing his hand. I'm trying to be generous here. 
but your word choice, buddy. So Kenneth Walker is the word for him, blah, blah, blah. Brianna Taylor, really her, really her, really her. Again, it's always like, I don't, I'm, I'm doing, I'm falling into the fucking trap. So I'm looking up this, okay, I'm looking enough to make sure he's accurate about him being a criminal. Uh, I'm not seeing anything there about a criminal past. Let's see, let's see if we can find, I'm just looking for any evidence that Kenneth Walker has a crime on file, because I don't know about Kentucky's laws, but if your crime is significant enough in Florida, you can't be a registered gun owner. This guy is a registered gun owner. He, um, again, he's free. I don't know what he's going, you know what? I'm a dude, I'm a, I'm a try, I'm a keep trying, but I feel like I won't find anything. But let me, let me, let me not rely on my feelings. Let me rely on the facts. Cause that's, that's what that Charlie Kirk's doing, right? Facts don't care about your feelings. Right? Right? So none of the officers have been charged. No, no. Oh, oh shit. So here we go. Two birds, one stone. Neither Taylor nor her boyfriend had a, Criminal history or drug contraction. No illegal drugs were ever found in the apartment. So he just kind of said um, both Brianna and Kenneth were criminals without providing evidence. I looked for evidence. I found none. Maybe he is um, not sure of the truth. That's a general, generous interpretation. Um, a not so generous interpretation of those lines is that he's a fucking liar. And trying to push an agenda that shouldn't be pushed. Uh, it's weird that he has the word the truth here. When he has yet to provide any. Well he provided some. But um, not not enough to validate using this word. I take this word very seriously. And he is kind of shitting all over it. Thug, Kenneth Walker. Fucking thug. I got him. Kenneth Walker started to shoot the police. And shot Sergeant Mattingly in the leg. That happened because people were knocking down his door, he didn't hear an answer, and he wasn't gonna wait to, he wasn't gonna fuck around and find out who was at the door. Um, because, I don't know, I think people, again, trying to, I've never been in these situations, so I don't know how they go down, but I think people are thinking what he should have done is waited till the officers knocked down his door so he could identify them as officers, and he'd be like, oh, okay, my bad, y'all are here? Let me put this gun down, but, um. Who who's waiting for that? Who is waiting for someone to knock down their door aggressively? And again, I don't even know Brianna Taylor's neighborhood. Like, who the fuck knows could be happening in that apartment complex? Maybe, maybe um people have broken down homes before, doors before to get targets. I don't know anything about the area, so I don't think it's wildly unreasonable to start popping through the door. I couldn't do it, but. Again, don't see it as unreasonable. Uh, and he shot the sergeant in the meg. Poor, poor Mattingly. Unfortunately, and tragically, Brianna Taylor got caught in the crossfire. I mean, he's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and give him the benefit of that doubt. I think he does mean that. I think he is being empathetic right here. He might actually not be an eldritch deity. He might actually be a human being. Um, but that reminds me, I do need to protect my brain. And if I somehow finish this, next on the agenda is, uh, Mike's Hard Pineapple Strawberry. It's a wine cooler, but calling it Mike's Hard lets me defend what's left of my masculinity. She was not in her bed, however. She was standing in the hallway. I'm sorry about that. Let's see where he goes with this. And so after this, he doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> He's like, she wasn't standing in, she wasn't in her bed, by the way. She was in the hallway. So I guess because um, the story is she was shot in her bed, that might not be entirely true. She was standing in the hallway. That changes everything. Let's continue. The police return fire back and forth. True. And Brianna Taylor passes away. Got shot and killed. That's not an outcome that I think anyone would defend. However, this was not as if they walked into a random apartment or the police strolled up to a random person on the side of the street execution. But who, um, 
Again, sorry for scaring you, Warrior. Um, but who who's suggesting that it was... Uh, okay, I will say this. I have seen some conspiracy theories. And my the way I treat conspiracy theories is just like, just give me more evidence. Uh, unfortunately, like with conspiracy theories, uh, you kind of have to reach a deductive conclusion based with what minimal evidence you have. Because like, let's, let's use... Again, I wasn't alive, so I don't know the full context of this event but let's take watergate for example right if you're someone who's just like yo i think nixon is up to some shit but nixon ain't gonna be slipping like that he's gonna have all his cases bases covered as many as he can and only people who need to know are gonna know so you can conspire as much as you want but if you don't have all the evidence people are gonna find you you know unbelievable but are you wrong though that's that's where it's weird with conspiracy theories like it's hard to say sometimes. Some conspiracy theories are out of there. Like, you know, water turning the frogs gay. There's some nuance to that. But, um, you know, if you take that sentence at face value, that's fucking retarded. <laughs> yeah. No, if you're shooting through something, you don't know slash care who's on the other side of that wall. You can't possibly know. And it, it could have been worse, man. Could have been worse. But, again, nobody's suggesting that Breonna Taylor was pulled over out of nowhere invading... Uh, was invaded by the cops, right? They had a no-knock warrant. We all know this. It was, it's, we all take issue with the no-knock warrant. If you can find these individuals, let me know. I'm not saying they don't exist, but I feel like people will, again, use a minority to invalidate the majority, and I'm getting tired of that. I get, understand poison in the well and all that, those metaphors, but metaphors aren't always universal. Case by case basis, baby. Context. ...style and decided to kill this individual. I don't think they made an act like it's clear they didn't make an active decision to kill her what's clear is that a lot of fuckery occurred and now she's dead and she will never receive justice Anna Taylor was dating a criminal Kenneth Walker who I, I spent enough time on this so um we're gonna we're gonna move past that particular dishonesty but y'all know where we at right now who just uh, shoot at the police I, aren't you aren't you second amendment i really want to know how he would react how charlie kirk would react if in the middle of the night someone was banging loud at his door and he asked hey who's there and if he didn't hear anything i wonder if he would wait i mean he probably has got security cams and all that good shit that uh most of us don't have access to but yeah i really want to know how he would act in this scenario and so the grand jury poured over this information. People are outraged. They say they're only tried with reckless endangerment. That's probably that's fucking ridiculous. A person died. That is kind of how you. Okay. Probably a correct indictment for one of the police officers for endangering some of the other uh, individuals in apartments that were adjacent. However Which again, it's weird that they're allowed to even get that far, right? Like, personally, I think uh, if we somehow could, replace the police with robots. Get get something that's not that emotional, not that quick to judgment, not that, um, what's the word, what's the word, survivally instinctual out there. Ooh, ooh, I gotta change my video. That Not that survivally insti instinctual, because, like, what ends up happening, I, I, part of me really does sympathize with cops. Like, I know I might sound like an asshole towards them, but it's a tough job that they volunteered for. Uh, but someone does have to do it. Do it. Do it. But um, it's... I don't know. Hopefully we get robots at some point. And I'm, I'm sure people are already picking holes apart in that, but I'm not going to do that right now. So, yeah. Uh, as he said... Um, the officer who got indicted wasn't indicted because Brianna had died. Um, the officer was indicted because several of the bullets had ended up in uh, other apartments, which that's fucking scary by itself. That is beyond scary. So if you live in an apartment, make sure you don't live to someone who used to date a drug dealer because your your life might. <laughs> Isn't that... No, but think about that sentence, though. Like, you got to be careful not to make decisions that end up having you in the crossfire of police because they're just that trigger happy. I can't remember where I heard this from, but like when you have a hammer, everything looks like a fucking nail. 
uh, chat break. Uh, of course, I doubt those officers went through the hard work of training for their role for the sole purpose to shoot and kill innocent people, but it somehow ends up that. So, like, again, it's a mixed bag because, um, trying to be fair here really really trying my best to be fair here we don't hear about all the good that cops do and cops do you know quite a bit of good like um i am a person who and this has nothing to do with the current movement i'm just bringing it up because it's important to me uh i feel like other people bring it up just as a what aboutism but black on black crime like cops have helped with that because the majority of black on black crime is gang related and cops are the pretty much the only thing that can fight against a gang so I'm not going to be that dude saying, yo, we need to get rid of them. I am with the defund the police movement, but you have to look into the nuance of that. If you just take the name by face value, it sounds ridiculous. But if you actually look into what defund the police is trying to achieve, there's a little bit more nuanced than that. Again, at the end of the day, they're going to tax the fuck out of us anyway. So, tis what tis. It would be nice if they didn't, but it's the price for living in society. Um, But yeah. That was that was fucked. However, do you think for a second if there was evidence for this grand jury to proceed with a murder indictment that they wouldn't have done that? Who said anything about murder? At worst, it's manslaughter. Who who said murder? I mean, I'm gonna say murdered, but like, let's let's clarify. So I think when people talk, it's weird when we take people literally and we. We get what you're meaning. Like, uh, we, we get kind of semantic and pedantic when we want to, but then turn it off when it's like, I, I know what you mean. Um, in my eyes, Breonna Taylor was murdered. However, if I were to go to a court of law, I would have to prove by the letter of the law that she was murdered, that there was intent for her death when the cops arrived. I don't think anyone believes that. Breonna Taylor's death was a series of events gone wrong and nobody's being held accountable for it nobody but murder again using the small percentage to invalidate the larger percentage or maybe the large percentage does think she was murdered um but as someone who's been paying attention to to the situations that happen with like Tamir Rice, John Cartford the third, Philando Castile, um, situations like that. Like I don't, I don't expect cops to get charged with murder anymore. I think the only time a cop got charged with murder was that one dude who was legit running away from the cop, and the cop straight up shot fired fired into his back. Um, not even that guy, I can't even remember his fucking name, but that fuckbag uh, in Vegas who gave that drunk guy conflicting directions and then shot him when he was trying his best to follow them like cops don't get murder charges it just doesn't happen unfortunately because you have to prove that they intended to murder so at the best you could probably get a manslaughter which i thought they were going for but i'm not going to pretend to be some legal expert i don't know what the uh their attorney for brianna was trying to achieve but murder that doesn't stick it never sticks Unless it does. <laughs> but they would not have done that, you see? You see, this grand jury was under such public pressure to go and proceed with that sort of indictment. That's fucking retarded. Um, saying that a jury is under pressure to do the right thing from the public is retarded. Like, it's weird. When you're a jury member, you're kind of sequestered from... You know the public from news and all that shit but no one's gonna put pressure on you to be like yo you better do this thing like if you're on this jury i don't exactly know how grand juries are uh compromised i don't think you get a letter in the mail or anything like that but chances are people are you know standing by what they said so the idea that they have to switch according to public opinion they shouldn't ever cross like the actual the court of law and the court of public opinion should always be two things so I don't see where he's going with that. For murder, and they didn't because the facts did not warrant it. They didn't because they they wouldn't. Like I don't know if maybe he has, maybe he's aware of a situation where a grand jury uh, caved to public pressure. I'm not aware of any, but again, he's not. Where let's see, we're about halfway through this. He hasn't really done much for providing evidence. I don't think he will. So I'm 
I'm not expecting it at this point, unfortunately. Let us proceed. So before you continue to wear Brianna Taylor's name on your helmet. Here's the thing. So he's making this video for his audience. But that line right there, that was for his audience, but it, it wasn't, right? He's basically telling his audience, hey, look at these fuckers who are going to start hashtagging Brianna Taylor, buying merch with her and shit. And just like, yeah, look at those fuckers. It's like, y'all just going to, mm, okay. So go ahead and do that. But it's like, again, that line wasn't for people who are advocating for justice. That line was for his audience, for his agenda, for his narrative. Remember to vote if, if you're interested. Or you have a shirt that says Brianna Taylor. Know the facts. Of I know the facts and you have yet to provide any. The case that she was involved in a drug trafficking criminal scheme. Where are the charges? Where are the charges, my buddy? I mean, she may have been involved in it once upon a time and maybe this was the process of getting her involved, but holy fuck. Uh, chat break. I can't imagine Charlie Kirk walking down the street and getting mad because someone has Brianna Taylor on their helmet. You can't because... From what literally I know about this guy, I could see him being easily offended by someone advocating for justice of a person who was wrongly killed. But he's not easily offended though. The other people are. He's not. That she was dating a attempted cop killer. We're gonna skip past that. He he's brought that up a bit too much. Kenneth Walker. Oh, <laughs> I forgot my brain protection was wearing off. Come here, Everclear. How the fuck does my brother drink that shit? Ugh. And her ex-boyfriend was Jamarcus Glover. Not exactly involved with the best people in society. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this up. She's irrelevant to me, but Candace always did the same fucking thing when um, George Floyd died. Basically saying, man, this person isn't great. Why do people care if she gives justice? You're, you're doing a lot of a loose association in order to justify that this bit, that Brianna. Like, what's the point of that? Again, trying to be generous. I'm trying, hold on. Let me try to be generous. The point of him associating Brianna Taylor with the worst of society despite despite the fact that she was an EMT and you know probably saved a few lives here and there like I can't speak for everybody's EMT I have one EMT friend and um you know she saved quite a few lives so I'd imagine that during Brianna's tenure she's saved quite a few lives as well but um fuck all that we're gonna associate her with the worst I can't think of a generous interpretation of that I think he's an asshole for saying that He's an asshole. Fuck him for that. Let's move on. This is the same as Jacob Blake. People say, oh, we must remember Jacob Blake. Really? J I can't remember Jacob Blake. What? But, but I don't need to remember. We live in the quantum age, baby. Jacob Blake. Was shot in seriously. Oh, yeah. I so, again, with the whole me staying away from the news... Stuff like this was just popping up a little bit too frequently and my mental state couldn't handle it. So I just kind of glossed over it and I'm just going to be like, uh, maybe, but let's, let's check Wikipedia and our people will say, Oh, Wikipedia is not a good source, but, um, I would like a rebuttal for that. Why you think not? Because if this, if this doesn't exist, then no, don't trust Wikipedia. But if you see this and you can trace this back to its source, do though. Uh, that's the guy refer to. I don't think he. Yeah, he didn't die. He was just paralyzed, uh, and he was canting. Like from what little I saw, I don't know what happened before the video. He was walking away from officers, and yeah, this sucks. So I guess a, she, he was being aggressive against his girlfriend. And wait, I'm, I'm looking up a whole different person. Holy fuck. This is how they get you. This is how they fucking get you. They'd be like, squirrel. And then you're just like, you can't even focus on the argument at hand. You're already thinking about all this other shit. But long story short, I don't know much about Jacob Blake. I don't have an opinion right now. But I guess 
But again, he's bringing this up. Donald Trump was an accused rapist. Like, is this not fair game? Joe Biden is a accused rapist. All these people are accused rapists. We're just going to throw that out now. He can't even say he was a rapist. It's an accused rapist. But facts don't care about your feelings though, right? I don't... I don't... It's so weird, the criteria, the goalpost is constantly changing. It's like, oh yeah, you can't take that serious. It's just an accusation when it's Kavanaugh, uh, when when um, Supreme Court Judge Kavanaugh, who I don't, you know, I don't think he was guilty. I don't really know much about him. I don't think he was guilty, but at, at the time, they're just like, it's just an accusation. You can't take it that seriously. But now we can take it seriously? You, you should have wrote a script. Maybe I should have wrote a script. <laughs> Fuck this man. Jacob Blank, Jacob Blake was accused of being a rapist. That we're supposed to believe all women. So before cringe, cringe, just fucking cringe. I started this trying to be generous. I'm just like, eh, maybe he's not trying to push an agenda. Man is clearly trying to push an agenda. Um, again, I'm not on the uh, not again, but uh, just to be clear, I'm not on the whole believe all women. Uh narrative i'm sure there's some nuance that i'm missing but when i take it at face value i'm just like mm, no 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 rosewood uh tulsa nope i'm good <laughs> i'm good so <laughs> but um yeah he uh he just said that just to be like wow the people who don't believe what we believe they're fucking morons but you the person watching this who agrees with me you cried all right let's go back take a blank Jacob Blake was accused of being a rapist. I thought we're supposed to believe all. How does this have anything to do with Breonna Taylor? But let's proceed. Women. So before we start to create these nationwide emotives, quasi pathological campaigns around unjust police killings. I wish I could. I wish I had him in a room because I just want one question. By him saying that we're advocating against unjust police killings does that mean that he believes brianna taylor's killing was just that it was it was righteous it was deserved does he believe that i just want to know i don't want to assume for him i just want to know brianna taylor would still be alive if her boyfriend and her lover kenneth walker didn't try to kill a police officer <sighs> <laughs> little thing about me i used to get a um, little bit weirded out by abin and preach sometimes because they would hear something and they would look around the room bewildered and part of me thought they were acting i get it i get it now i get it but again you see like it's a lot to unpack so i'm sure i am absolutely sure when kenneth walker opened fire on the people on the other side of an opaque surface, he didn't realize he was shooting at officers. Again, I don't live in his neighborhood. I brought this up earlier. I don't know what his neighborhood is like. He's got a gun. He's going to use it to protect himself. Castle doctrine. I don't know how Kentucky rolls, but Kentucky, if I recall, they have McConnell and Rand Paul as senators, so I'm inclined to believe that they're a red state. But, um, yeah, if... I'm just going to go out and say that. I, I kind of wish that this happened to white people. I, I would love to see the same scenario rolled out, but just like switch to the racist. Because I'm not accusing him of being racist, but I'm just like, they tend to cover situations that fit their narrative conveniently. Because there was another woman, and her name is lost on me right now because there's just too many names to fucking keep track of. But she was shot through her kitchen window by an officer don't know what her uh her name was or if charlie kirk has uh the truth about what's her name video but I, I, it doesn't fit their agenda so we're not gonna we're not gonna hear about it from charlie kirk i'm sorry guys it's probably not gonna happen but if i'm wrong let me know he wasn't intentionally trying to shoot a police officer he was trying to shoot an invader now i'm not defending the fact that brianna taylor passed away in the car that's all you've been doing but this idea that the police officers went out of their way to go murder Breonna Taylor while she was in her bed, when she was in the hallway, is nonsense. You went... So, here's the thing. Walmart is right down the street from me, right? If I wanted to go to Walmart, I would just go right down the street. If I wanted to... I would not 
go this direction, take a left on some other street, take a right on some other street, and then land at Walmart. If that's what he wanted to say from the beginning, he should have just fucking said that. Instead, he shat on a lot of people to get to this point. I can agree with him. I don't think the police went there with the intent to murder her. We're three minutes and 25 minutes in. That, that point could have been made a lot clearer a lot sooner. I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. I want to believe he's an intelligent man. I want to believe he has deductive skills, uh, logical reasoning, and just an ability to look at things objectively. Nothing in this video has persuaded me of that. Just saying. And the police knocked even though they had a no-knock warrant. Know the facts. But do you, Mr. What's his last name? Kurt? Do you know the facts? Don't get angry just because the media tells you. The media! I fucking hate this term because it's getting like... So before the internet, the media was a very clear thing. It was what you saw on television. And the media definitely does have an agenda. Now... The media isn't strictly just television. The media is fucking everything we damn near see on the internet. Social media is media. What he's doing right here, this is media. Is he like? It's weird that people will say, "Don't get mad at the media," but like, but aren't you media, bruh? I'm media. I'm media. What do you mean? Do we not believe you? Cause you are also part of the media, my buddy. And stand with our police officers. No. Police officers acted correctly in this situation. And if they were going to burn down another city around this, we should not tolerate this anymore. How do we... Okay, god damn it. Again, too much, too much packed. Stand with our police officers. I'm with you guys. I'm with the cops when they're in the right. And I'm not with them when I think they're in the wrong. It's as simple as that. I'm not going to look and be like, man, I think they fucked up on every level of this. But I'm going to stand by them anyway. No, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, Let's go back. Police officers. The police no. officers acted correctly in this situation. That's that's arguable. They responded instinctively. Shots were fired at them. They fired back. One of them's getting charged with wanton and dangerous because he sh his bullets penetrated another apartment. And um, what else happened? Oh yeah, a woman died, and she will not be receiving justice. But you know, we gotta stand with our we gotta stand with our cops. They acted correctly, man. And if they're gonna burn down another city around this, I don't even. I don't think people are listening or they care. I don't know. Maybe I've I've personally never kicked a beehive, but let me know in the comments or in the chat if you've kicked a beehive. How long did the bees wait before they started, you know, attacking and stinging and acting irrationally? Again, the masses don't want philosophy; they want religion. You're talking. And you're saying, look how noble and intelligent and high-minded I am. When you know goddamn well people in mass, especially in mass, are going to act irrational. And you're using it, I'm going to call you out on this, to your favor. You're appealing to a massive audience that just wants to hear their opinions regurgitated out of the mouth of someone who sounds reasonable. Which is a, a big brain way of saying feels reasonable. I don't, I don't think people catch that. When, just to clarify, when people say, oh, that doesn't sound right or that I don't think that's right, they're basically saying, I don't feel that's right. So you could call them out on that if you want to be that kind of asshole. I don't. People are allowed to feel things. And if you want to correct them, correct them. But he's not correcting much here. Again, not condoning the burning down of cities, but the fuck is he expecting? The cops were already expecting it. They're just like, time to whip out our military supplies <laughs> our secondhand military supplies that we have for whatever reason even even though we have a national guard here and re real shit man if you know shit's about to pop off please call in the national guard they actually follow the rules of engagement cops are just i don't know man they're they're eager to beat ass hey that's why i keep my spam block my oh. hey, what, what, what's going on here Let us proceed. We should not. God, we got 50 seconds left, guys. 50 seconds left. We could do this. Let's take a bit more of our, our protection juice. And again, if you're at home and you're able to have access to the magical plant, I strongly recommend you take from Oh, that, wow, that shit's actually hitting now. And not a moment too late. Tolerate this anymore. Stand the line with truth. So remember, <laughs> I don't know if I said this, if I caught it, 
on the mic because I was fucking rambling with my mic muted. Low concept actions, high concept action. It's just something I I go by. If you to me, low concept actions are actions you don't really need an ex explanation or step by step breakdown on how to do. Like if you're just gonna say, hey, clean yourself. Hey. Um, go eat something. That's a low concept action. We all know how to clean ourselves. We all know how to eat something for the most part. Saying stuff like double your salary or live your best life. To me, those are kind of high concept actions. The fuck do you mean live my best life? How do I do that? So when he says we should not tolerate this anymore and stand in line with truth, that's a high concept action. And unfortunately, that could be interpreted any number of ways. And he knows that. I'm going to be generous to this man. I believe he's intelligent. And he knows exactly what the fuck he's doing. So that's my stance on that. We should stand in line with truth. How do we stand in line with truth? Kirk, help me out. I don't know how to do that. Hold the line with truth, I should say. Because these people want to burn down our country at all costs. These people. Okay. But uh, burn down our country at all costs. You're saying country, and un definitely there are people taking advantage. I'm not excusing the uh, illegitimate rioters and looters at all. They are assholes and deserve everything that's coming to them. But to say a person peacefully protesting a government that they believe that their protest will somehow reach, even I don't know the exacts of it, but I've protested before and I don't know exactly how that protest helps, but it's something I felt like I had to do. Like, it's just, I gotta get this off my chest. But to say people peacefully protesting want to burn down our country at all costs, like, you're just, you're doing this thing where you're, you're associating all the negatives and wiping away the positives of one side of this argument. There are reasonable people on this side of pro-justice for Brianna. I'm one of them. I believe I'm reasonable. I would love to have a chat with this man. They don't want you to believe they exist. They want you to be like, hey, keep in mind, study has come out and said that up to only 7%, uh, I'm gonna say only because I feel like there's a small number, you might feel differently, but only 7% of the protests have actually led to violence. And violence can mean any a number of things from buildings being burned the fuck down to a store window being broken take from that what you will but um a large chunk of these protests are non-violent they're actually pretty peaceful the one i went to was peaceful as hell the cops were fronting they were like yeah yeah fuck up i dare you but other than that we were pretty chill and people were yelling at the cops but not like in their face yelling but like at a distance like like there was even one weird point where i made eye contact with a cop and he's like nope i'm not doing that and i'm like i'm a bitch though like <laughs> you can stare at me i ain't gonna do shit <laughs> brianna taylor was involved in a criminal drug trafficking ring. Ergo, she deserved to die without due process. That's my non-generous take of him. I'm trying to come up with a, a, a generous take. Uh, I guess the generous take was play stupid games, win stupid prizes. I'm, I'm gonna go with my non-generous take on this. She didn't deserve to die. Yeah, maybe, maybe don't, they, drug traffickers but even still i don't know the extent to which the boyfriend was drug trafficking we're just saying drug trafficking um again hi libertarian here not pro drug legislation it's led to a lot of fuckery especially within black communities so no let's let's do our best to actually help these people who are addicted because they're addicted to it because their lives might be shit he's just saying drug trafficker and like when you say that that could be anyone from like a mexican cartel you know popping off kneecaps of children to someone who's like hey man uh <laughs> i got way more g's from my dealer than i expected do you want to buy a few yeah i mean technically that's a drug trafficker but Dude, he's clearly not trying to destroy his country, so the drug laws in this country are fucked. And for him to say drug trafficker with that level of intensity, I'm not a libertarian gatekeeper, but I'm questioning him, his libertarianism right here. It's really, really quite questionable. Not sure if he's ever claimed to be libertarian, but I know a lot of um, Republicans in denial are calling themselves libertarians, and he seems like one. Her ex-boyfriend was a drug trafficker. Yeah, her ex-boyfriend, the guy who was in custody. And when she passed away, her current boyfriend was a attempted. All right.
gonna skip past that. Cop killer. Sorry. Oh, oh, muted myself. Know the facts. High concept. Know the facts. I do know the facts. You have presented very few, and a few you have presented. So here's another thing I want to touch on. Uh, common. Um, I'm picking on the right today. The left is easy to pick on, so I'm gonna leave them alone for now. Uh, the, one of the things that the right like to say is facts can't be racist. And that is true. Facts can't be racist. They're just numbers. You got to look at them and do with them what you will. The The issue comes up is when you use facts to promote your racism. When you say people of this group from this side do certain things. Ergo, I just got to treat them all like this just to be safe. You got to be careful, especially if you believe in treating like people, people like individuals. You really got to be careful with that mindset. Because it's kind of hard to treat people like individuals when you use facts in such a uh, devious way. Free your mind, you might be a happier person. I can honestly tell you, stay the fuck away from political topics. You will be a happier person. Like, all these people want to do is poison you. Poison you so they could get paid. At the end of the day, that's all they care about, honestly. Like, it, one of the first time I was in college, it was kind of like... It should have been obvious to me, but like a professor made it obvious. He's like, the role of media isn't to keep you informed. The role of media is to make money. I don't, he hadn't been doing a whole lot of informing here, nor has he told people how to find their information, right? I made sure I've done it twice. The first time I was muted, unfortunately, but I've done it twice. I'm giving you guys the tools to hopefully like break down stuff. Use Google, use DuckDuckGo, do not stop at your favorite source. That's simple. If if you lean and you know that you lean on one side of the aisle or another, go to your preferred source first and then go find the source from another side. It helps. It really fucking does. One of the things that helped me... Um, because I used to be really left-leaning, but somehow, I, according to these fucking tests I keep taking, I'm somehow on the right. I'm hurt by that. But, <laughs> but um, like, one of the things that helped me during that transition is, like, okay, something controversial happens. Let's see CNN's take on it. Damn, they got a lot of shit on this. Let's see Fox News' take on this. Fo Fox News ain't even going to talk about this. Well, that's weird. They, they got a take on everything. And some, I mean, you could argue that maybe they're just waiting for the facts, but they don't always wait for the facts until, you know, it's convenient. But uh, yeah, free your mind. You might be a happy person. Also, don't, su don't subscribe to uh, um, Charlie Kirk. You'll definitely be a happy per happier person. <sighs> Twitter is such a cesspool. I have an account. I'm not going to promote it because I don't fucking, I think I have to use Twitter though. As someone who's aspiring to be like an internet personality. I don't want to use Twitter. Ugh. Anyways. You might be a happier person. And if anyone hey, Bible user. You came at a weird time. We're talking about political shit. But there's 18 seconds left in this video, which means it'll only take us another 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, man. Anyone dares try to burn down Louisville or says they will, they should be arrested and thrown in prison for at least a decade. I don't think he's a libertarian. I um, I'm not a gay again, not a gatekeeper for libertarianism. I'm not one of those people who's like, well, you're not a real libertarian. Uh, I'm I'm questioning his libertarianism. Uh, there's, there's an argument that could be made that the First Amendment doesn't protect you from uh, what's the word? What's the word? Um, calls to action, violent calls to action. He seems very pro-authority. Which is my issue right here. Like, I'm not. I don't. I don't know. I like order, and I guess authority is the best way to get that. But uh, I don't know. I'm I'm conflictory in that way. By the way, if you're late to the chat, this is an Arnold Palmer um, lemonade and iced tea with a bit of Everclear. And Everclear, if you've never tried it, is it's fucking atrocious. But uh, yeah. Be arrested and thrown in prison for at least a decade. I can't take that line seriously. So, as we've established, he's got the word facts kind of all over here. But it's just all emotional appeals down here. Like, 
you know, the truth, if we're going to say facts don't care about your opinion, I don't think of a stretch to say that the truth doesn't care about your, my bad, facts don't care about your feelings. I don't think it's a stretch to say that the truth doesn't care about your feelings. But he, he's, he is such a touchy feeling guy. I feel bad for him because like as someone who kind of represses my emotions quite constantly, it's a it's good when you're able to express yourself. So Charlie Kirk, I hope at some point that uh, you're able to, you know, be the real you and not this version that you have to be in order to uh, fund your legacy. Again, not against funding legacies, but context. I think you're doing it in a shitty way. Why is, oh, chat break. Why is Discord is over party trending in USA? Um, Because people who want small government voted in an authoritarian president who might be cutting ties with uh, Chinese companies. And Tencent owns a pretty big stock in Discord. I am assuming, I didn't know that hashtag was trending. But I know, you know, our fearless leader has been trying to cut ties with China and their communist party. So a lot of people who are small government are very for it. It's baffling to me. It's whatever at this point. Again, this is my first foray into politics. Like seriously in a while because politics in the U.S. Don't fucking do it. Don't look if you if you live in the U.S. Or, or you're visiting the U.S. And someone's like, hey. You want to talk politics? Rotate 180 degrees and walk in that direction, because politics down here isn't politics; it's sports. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the president can and can't do. Every year, I'm surprised. I'm like, fuck, the president could do that? I should. I ain't know. So there's there's a lot I don't know about government, and the bitch of it all is that it's all open to interpretation that's why these guys are super um hungry about the the new vacancy in the supreme court because since everything is interpretable let's get a conservative or a liberal interpretation on everything and see how that rolls out rather than just saying hey let's read the words but that's, it's it's a weird bag like it's easy to say don't interpret this just read it as it is but it's like is it <laughs> I feel like government is complicated for the sake of complication. But anyways, we got a, we got 12 more seconds. We can do this. I believe in us. 12 more seconds. We got this far. And I'm only mildly tipsy. Mildly. Thanks. Whew. God bless you guys. Okay, so he's just doing an outro. And God bless our country. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you. Woo. We did it. We fucking did it. So, um, yeah, Charlie Kirk. I don't know him too well. I've seen a lot of memes with his tiny face on it, but um, I don't know much about him or much about uh, Turning Point USA. Again, I think Shapiro is associated with him, and Shapiro is kind of like on a case-by-case -case basis. He's a human. I don't like everything he says. I don't hate everything he says. That's humanity. These the agenda-driven pages, man. It's like... If you want to speak the truth, let's do... Here's my thing, right? I'm not going to claim to be some completely unbiased entity that has no feelings or doesn't have my own worldview and perspective that has been cemented upon by numerous experiences um case in point when i get a match on tinder i don't think that shit's gonna go anywhere because of my past experiences fuck these hoes so i'm not mad at people who who are using their past experiences to look at events and break them down through their lens. I do the same fucking thing. What bothers me is when you set up an expectation to say, I'm going to be objective. I'm going to stick to the facts. I'm going to stick to the truth. And you don't. You fucking don't. You're just a bitch. Yeah, tis what tis. Um, I feel... This is... This is I'm, I'm going to start rambling now because we're done with him. Thank you, Charlie Kirk. You've you provided me with a lot of, a lot of content. But um, as Dave Chappelle said in his uh, 846 special, I feel like the money-making opportunities right now uh, for political commentators is kind of gross because, you know, cynically, I could say, fuck the truth. I'm just going to peddle a narrative to a side of the aisle that wants to hear this narrative. And I would probably make some some quick bank, some really quick bank. Bruh, I'm a black dude with dreads. Let me start uh, peddling a hardcore conservative narrative. Bruh, 
I could retire tomorrow. I could retire tomorrow. I, ooh, but I don't know. I ain't mad at them for selling their souls, assuming they had them. But uh, nor nor you know, do I even know if they're actually selling their soul. Maybe they're being honest. Maybe they genuinely believe in this shit. But um, the fact of the matter is, Brianna Taylor got shot, and this side is doing everything in their power to excuse it. The side that would probably say all lives matter. Except, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm doing this for ninety minutes. Fucking Charlie Kirk, God damn it! I don't want to experience you anymore. Honestly, <laughs> that was my first time actually listening to you. Holy shit! That was only four and a half minutes. How do people consume you on an almost daily basis? Impressive, disgusting. Um. Wario, Bible, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, to the new followers I have, thank you all for tuning in. I have a Discord server. I'm going I'm to post an invite to that. Yeah, because um, it's pretty dope. Again, this is a rare, rare foray into politics. I don't do this anymore because, again, U.S. politics is a fucking nightmare. But, um... It's sad to see people use their platforms to push false narratives. And if I just sit around and not use what little voice I have, I feel like I'm just allowing it. So thank you all for tuning in. Uh, appreciate your time. Appreciate you listening for rambles. See you tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to make sure to buy Condemn 2 just for you, Bible. But again, Spotter Brother, or I don't even know how much it costs right now. It shouldn't be any more than $10. That'd be despicable. But again, peace the fuck out.